Hey everyone, welcome to the video. We're going to be going over the $50 single entry I was in this week, uh, the 50 man, and looking at the winning lineup and some of the pros lineups as well, and see how they did and what they were on. So the winning lineup was Bryce Morrow, uh, third inch long. He put up 210 points. He went with the Eagle stack, which was pretty cheap. Uh, Foles almost had 500 passing yards. He put up 35 points. Zach Ertz, 40 points. And Jeffrey at 11. So it was just the nuts this week. It's what you wanted to be on, and you sold a lot of salary left after using them. Now, the, t the top end backs really disappointed this week. Uh, just compare it to their price. Chubb had 16 points. He still had over 100 yards, but he just didn't get in the end zone. So it was pretty unlucky that he didn't. Uh, Zeke only had 15. That's a def that definitely underperformed there. It's not what you were looking for. I really thought he would smash this team. I thought he'd get about 30 points against Tampa Bay. As you know, his ownership reflects that. But just wasn't in the works this week. Robbie Anderson, another one of the most popular, second mo most popular play in this uh, tournament. He was 60% owned and he put up 32 points. It was one of the best plays of the week. Just price in his matchup and with a noon while out, he was played over 90% of the snaps and Anderson ended up just killing. Uh, Robert Woods, he was going to avoid Patrick Peterson. He had Buda Baker in the slot. He had a rushing touchdown and he also had a nice uh, receiving touchdown as well. And McGuire, another Jet with him and Anderson both uh, balled out today. Two touchdowns and about 85 yards. He had a good game. And 49ers, I'm just going to guess that he thought this was going to be a low scoring game. And that's all the salary he had left. So he just rolled with it. And, you know, eight points. Not going to hurt you. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, Empire Maker's lineup. I like looking at his, uh, what he did. He scored 162. He didn't cash. He went with the uh, Cow. Looks like he went with a. Dak Prescott and Zeke, two Cowboys there against Tampa Bay. They both underperformed. Saquon Barkley again. He didn't do it. He got a one rushing touchdown, but other than that, he only had he had less than 80 total yards. So, and he, he had some bad luck. Uh, Scott Simpson, I believe, he scored on a one yard touchdown, and then Eli Manning ran it in. So really, he could have had three touchdowns. So I think he got really unlucky. Sterling Shepard, he had a great game. We, everyone played him as chalk last week, and he didn't do anything. And then the very next week, he gets a 20-piece. Michael Thomas, back to his old ways, 30 points. Had a great game, and uh, really topped it off with that touchdown late. Uzama, uh, he, it ended up working out. <laughs> and Matt Breida, I'm not sure about that play. He ended up getting hurt in this game like he always does. Yeah, but Chicago is really stiff against the run, so I'm curious to what he was thinking about there. Maybe he's getting a cheap running back that's going to get the ball. And the Patriots defense against the Bills ended up working out. 10 points. And I'll see if Chipotle was in here. I'm not sure if he was or not. He was, okay. So he scored 140, so he didn't do very good. Uh, he went with Jared Goff and Robert Woods and Brandon Cook, so he went with a little Rams stack there. And really, that besides Robert Woods, it wasn't really anything special. He went with Kalen Balaj, who I could, you know, I get that play. Uh, he was decently lower owned, and he was pretty cheap. And you know, I thought he was going to get a decent amount of carries. I get that. Tevin Coleman ended up getting hurt, and you know, he just didn't do much. He's had a really bad season this year, from what our expectations were since Freeman's been out. Devontae Adams just continues his tear. He's been the best fantasy football wide receiver this year just been so consistent low floor and offers a high ceiling as well Aaron Rodgers just absolutely went off in the second half of that game I you know, went over the Rams guys Chris Herndon's been pretty good was pretty good in this game the 20 points this is just a high scoring game almost everyone did good in this game talked about Barkley and we talked about the Patriots defense already Alright guys, that's all I'm going to show for this video. I hope you guys had a good week like some of these guys did. And I'll be back with my breakdowns coming for week 17 later in the week. Alright, see ya.